Hello and welcome to Bob's Programming Academy. In this video, we present an online store built using Django, Tailwind CSS, and Alpine.js. This online store enables customers to browse products by category, add them to the cart, and go through the checkout process. Each customer also has access to their user profile and order history. This is what the project looks like. When we go to the website, we are first presented with a list of all products available in the store. The list of products is paginated, with four products displayed per page. We can also view products by category. The other parts of the application are available only to the registered users who have created an account in the system. Let's create a new user account. Type your username, email, and password. Then retype the password to confirm it. Press the Create an Account button. Now we can log in. Once we are logged into the application, we can view the details of each product available in the store. On the Product Details page, we can see a product image, name, category, price, and description. From this screen, we can add a product to the shopping cart. To do that, we first select the quantity and then click the Add to Cart button. From the shopping cart screen, we can proceed with the checkout by pressing the checkout button. Pressing the Continue Shopping button will return us to the list of all products available in the store. We can also update the product quantity by selecting the appropriate value from the drop-down and clicking Update. We can also remove the product from the shopping cart by pressing the Remove button. Let's add a few products to the shopping cart. Next, we press the Checkout button. On this screen, we can see the order summary. Next, we specify the shipping address and press the Place Order button. We can see that the order has been placed successfully. Each customer also has access to their user profile and order history. To see that data, we go to My Account and then select My Profile. On this page, we can find information about the logged in user, a username, address, when the account was created, and whether the logged in user is an admin. On the right, we can find the order history of the logged in user. Once we are done using the application, we can log out from the store. To get access to this project, go to the project's GitHub repository. You can find the link in the description section below. Next, press the download zip button to download the code. Once you have downloaded and unzipped the project, open it in Visual Studio Code or some other code editor of your choice. Before we start, make sure that you have all the required prerequisites installed on your machine. The prerequisites for this project are Python, Node.js, and Visual Studio Code. Alternatively, you can use some other code editor. First, create a virtual environment in the root folder. To create a virtual environment, open the terminal and from the root directory run python-m venv venv. Next, activate the virtual environment by running the command on mac source venv slash bin slash activate. On windows venv backslash scripts backslash activate. Next, install the required Python packages listed in the requirements.txt file by running the command pip install dash r requirements.txt. Next, run migrations. Migrations are Django's way of propagating changes you make to your models into your database schema. It's a two-step process. First, run the command to create migrations. Python manage.py make migrations. To perform the migration, that is to actually apply the changes to the underlying database, run the command python manage.py migrate. Django comes with a built-in admin interface. 
which is a great tool for managing all aspects of a Django project. We will use it here to add products and product categories to the database of our online store. To use the Django admin, we first need to create a super user who can log in. To create a super user from the root directory, run the command python manage.py create super user. Next, type your username, email, and password. Then retype the password to confirm it. Django templates in this project were created using HTML, Tailwind CSS, and Alpine.js. Tailwind CSS is a utility-first, open-source CSS framework. The main feature of Tailwind CSS is that it provides a series of predefined utility classes that we can mix and match to style various elements on a page. Instead of writing our own custom classes and styles, we apply predefined utility classes provided by Tailwind CSS directly to the HTML elements. This significantly speeds up the UI development process. Tailwind CSS is not a UI kit. Unlike UI kits such as Bootstrap, Tailwind CSS doesn't provide a default theme or built-in UI components. Instead, it comes with predefined utility classes that we can use to build our website from scratch. Therefore, Tailwind CSS offers more flexibility and customization while Bootstrap delivers a rapid development experience with ready-made components. In this project, we also use Alpine.js. Alpine.js is a front-end library that allows users to write responsive interfaces in declarative mode. Using Alpine.js, we can compose the behavior directly in HTML files. In this project, we use Alpine.js to make static Django HTML templates interactive. For example, we use Alpine.js to show and hide the sidebar menu on small screens. To install the required front-end packages, from the root directory, run the command npm install. In this project, we use the Tailwind CLI tool, which is the fastest way to get up and running Tailwind CSS from scratch. If you want to add your own custom CSS rules to this project, you can do it in the input.css file located in the CSS folder inside the static directory. Once you are done making the changes, from the root directory, run the command npm run dev. This command will start the Tailwind CLI build process. The CLI tool scans your template files for classes and builds your CSS. The output CSS is located in the output.css file in the CSS folder inside the static directory. To start the application from the root directory, run python manage.py run server. This command will start the development server. To view the application, go to http 127.0.0.1 port 8000. Right now, we don't have any products in our online store. We will add products and product categories through Django Admin. To access Django Admin, go to http 127.0.0.1 port 8000 slash admin. Sign in using the admin username and password created a few minutes ago by running the command python manage.py create super user. Click the categories link and then click add category. Enter the name and then click save. Once you enter the name of a product category, the Slack field will be filled automatically. Let's add a few product categories. Next, let's add a few products. Click on the products link and then click add product. Select a product category, type a product name, select a product image, add a description and a price, and once you're done, click save. Let's add a few more products. Now let's refresh the page, and we can see that products and product categories have been added to our online store. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel 
so you can be notified whenever we post something new. It helps with the algorithm to get our videos out there to more and more people so that we can continue making them. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.